On this channel, I've talked about the Frisian language quite a lot, in particular in this video, which has sparked quite a few famous memes in the English speaking world about Frisian and its relation to English. Ik spreek yeah. old English, understand this to me. Yeah. Now, in a previous video, I talked about Kneppelfreid, or Batten Friday, which was the time when Frisian finally became recognized as a language in its own right in the Netherlands as a result of pre police brutality against those protesting for the Frisian language and its use in all spheres of life, Frisian was accepted as the second national language of the Netherlands within the province of Friesland itself and was enshrined the right to be taught in Frisian education systems. Indeed, the degree to which this is done varies across the province, but legally all schools should in Friesland be offering the Frisian language as a subject of study, with many schools also teaching in the language. Language. Importantly too, Kneppelfreid meant that Frisians were able to defend themselves in the legal system in their own language, in Frisian. Of course, this is why Kneppelfreid had happened in the first place, because of legal discrimination against speaking of Frisian. For more on that, check out the video on Kneppelfreid. But Frisian is far from being secure as a language. Because of centuries of discrimination against the speakers of the language and belittling of the language itself, much work is yet to be done to restore the status of the Frisian language, not just for those who don't speak the language and may look down on it, but also for speakers of the language who may view it as being less worthy than Dutch or other languages. This is something that a lot of organizations are currently and in the past have worked very hard to do. Currently around 55% of the province of Friesland speaks the West Frisian language as a first language. Now because it's taught in schools that means that around 74% of the entire province, even if they don't speak it as a first language, can actually speak Frisian as either a first or a second language. So that's three quarters pretty much of the population can hold some form of conversation in Frisian. However, a further 94% of the total population can at least understand West Frisian. So even if they can't reply in West Frisian, they will be able to understand what is said. So that means that pretty much always someone should be able to speak Frisian and at least be understood. It's a very small minority of cases where this is not the case. That's why it came as quite a shock in the recent weeks when a news story was broken by the Frisian News about the ING Bank in Friesland. This was broken when the former translator Ferre Dijkstra called up the ING client service and asked the lady on the other end of the phone if she spoke Frisian. This was because he could hear that she had a rather strong Frisian accent when she spoke Dutch, and so he thought, well, why then don't we communicate in what quite clearly is both our first language, the Frisian language. However, what he then uncovered turned out would shock the entire province. This is to quote from an article by Omrup Frieslan on the subject. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I'll read it in Frisian first and then in English for anyone who's just listening along. Ik jij in mijn Fries gezegd. Dus ik zei, praat jou ik Fries. Ze zei je wel, of wijs je wel. Maar wij mogen hier alleen Engels of Nederlands spreken met klanten. Dat is nou een heel hot item worden, om maar in mooi Engels te zitten. Dat zal de ING wel onderstaan, sa zei Dijkstra. I heard someone with a Frisian accent, so I said, do you also speak Frisian? She said, yes, or actually, now replying in Dutch, yes, but we're only allowed to speak English or Dutch with clients. This has become a real hot item, to use the English expression, which will really affect the ING, so says Dijkstra. Now, several things started to happen after this story broke. Many people were incensed, especially on social media, replying that they thought that this actually may be breaking the law, maybe discrimination against people who can and should be allowed to speak Frisian. Others said that while it didn't break the law, clearly this was something that left a bad taste in the mouth of many Frisians, and some people decided to take action. Of course, the scenario here is that Two people who can speak Frisian are now being forced to speak Dutch because of the rules of a particular organization. The organization, the ING Bank, replied that this was because of their data call center and that because when their staff members are on the phone with people, 
These calls have to be played back and listened to in case of something going wrong or unprofessional behavior and that this can only be done in Dutch and in English. So this was the other thing that was attached to this story, that it wasn't just the fact that they had to speak Dutch, the other alternative was English. But of course, English is not one of the languages of the Netherlands. Dutch is one of the official languages, as is Frisian. Frisian has within the province of Friesland, the right to be spoken and has the same status as Dutch. English does not. So this organization, the ING Bank, had not only banned people from speaking the native language of the province of Friesland. So they were not allowed to speak Frisian, but they were allowed to speak English, which actually isn't even a language of the Netherlands, let alone of the province of Friesland. So this is why this caused quite a lot of strong feelings within the province of Friesland and with people who work with minority languages, as even though you could argue this is a company policy and therefore not against the law, what it suggests is that Frisian is being a less worthy language, that you are not able to use this kind of language in the bank. These were arguments that were also made for the courthouse, if you remember the Kneppelfreit video, or for the church, or that it shouldn't be a written language, or it shouldn't be spoken on the playground and children would be beaten. This is continuing the same kind of story that people have had to work very hard to alter because people then thought, well, why would I raise my children with a language that they can't use at the school, at church, in the playground, in the courthouse? In any case, the news story was picked up by several Frisian news outlets such as Utnais, Leauta Krante, Omro Friesland and Vartnet and then spread to several actual national newspapers that were being read throughout the Netherlands as well, which caused this story to blow up even more than it already had. This led to, on the 13th of February, a Frisian organization called the Jong Frieske Mierskip um, enacting an action outside of the EN outside of the ING's headquarter in Amsterdam by taking down their own orange flags and, of course, raising the bomberbled flags of the province of Friesland in protest to the action, as well as with a declaration promising that more action would follow this. Several politicians also responded. Eke Volkerts, for one, actually a member of the province of Friesland's regional government, said, and again first in Frisian, then in English, Wij denken dat het voor een paard gewoon een misbegrip is, zei de Pietjere Eke Volkers. Dat meisje net altijd begrijpen hoe wichtig de Frieske taal voor u is, maar ik van Nederland. Dat is net altijd lekker duidelijk voor zulke organisaties. We think it's partially just a misunderstanding, says deputy Eke Volkers. That people don't always understand how important the Frisian language is for us, but also for the Netherlands. That is not always equally clear for such organizations. Other organizations involved with the Frisian language also became involved, such as the AFUG, which is quite a fun acronym in English, but stands for the Algemene Frieske Underjacht Commission. One of the organizations responsible for the promotion of the Frisian language, they produce learning material and they sell this learning material both for individuals, for schools, and for organizations and companies to be able to do their work in Frisian. Their spokesperson, Miriam Fellinga, also gave her own opinion on what was happening. And she said, Ik vind dit een beetje makkelijk, zei Miriam Fellinga van de AFUK. ING is een commercieel bedrijf. Nu heb ik het idee dat het systeem voorrang had boppen de klantvriendelijkens. Ze had een groot kantoor hier in Leeuwarden met een soort Frieske meiwerkers, dus ik zoek ze, maar ze daar gebruik van. Denk in oplossingen. I think it's a bit too easy, says Miriam Fellinga from de AFUK. ING is a commercial company. Now, I'm of the opinion that the system is being prioritized over the client. They have a big office here in Liaot with lots of Frisian-speaking co-workers. So I would say, use them, come up with a solution. And of course, Miriam is correct. I'm not sure how many conversations are done over the phone in Frisian, but surely if there are one or two problems out of all of these Frisian conversations, there is someone in the office who speaks Frisian, and we already know there is because that is how this whole story started, that there were Frisian staff members there to begin with. So clearly this excuse is a rather tired one. Of course, we have to work very hard as Frisian speakers and people who care about this language and other minority languages, for example, Scottish Gaelic or Welsh in the United Kingdom or Basque and Catalan in Spain, to name just a few others, that these languages aren't left by the wayside because they do not have a dominant position in the political structure of 
nations that are often based on the idea that one nation has only one language and all others are simply bad forms of that language and should be forgotten. So there are several campaigns in Friesland that aim to do this, and one by the just mentioned organization AFUK is the Praat Ma Frisk. And Praat Ma Frisk means just speak Frisian. To be proud of speaking Frisian, if that is your mother language, then you shouldn't be impeded from speaking this language so that it can continue on for future generations as well. And in aid of this noble goal, and because today is the International Day of Mother Languages around the world, I was involved in something a little bit special. Now, you may remember that on this channel I have before shared some videos about Balz Draumar and their music that they make. This is a Frisian metal band that sometimes makes acoustic music as well about Frisian history and their interactions with other cultures around the North Sea and further afield. Now, the lead singer of Balz Draumar is called Schuert Steistra, incredibly Frisian name. And he actually has another band, which is called Schuertsa. Now, this band name means something in Frisian, which means Schuert and the rest, or Schuert etc, if you will. It's a long story short, something to do with his cousin, must be a Vard thing. But in any case, they make Frisian pop music, or more popular music, more acoustic music, that is maybe a little bit gentler on the ears than some of the heavier metal stuff that Baldur's Draumar do. Now, they, in connection with the Afuk, and for this special day of the international mother language, have released a new single called Praat Ma Frisk. And if you have a look at the clip, you may recognize someone else in this video. And as I say, do as I say, not as I do, but do learn Frisian and praat me Fries. Ja, ja, er komt een, een machtig figuur. History with Hilbert in de rek, waarin ja, voor de meesten die het hem net kennen. History with Hilbert, dat is een, een jongen die had Engelske en Frieske roots. Die had een heel groot account op YouTube met een heel miljoen volgers. Maar hij had dus ook Frieske roots, wat een heel groot scope is. En daar had er ook wel eens veel om gezoeken. Ja, die is momenteel... Uh, hij werkt in Grenzenland momenteel. Bij Jacob. Maar... Uh, Ja, die komt prettig maar uit mij. En, uh, die, die zit daar in de avond ook een boekje te lezen. En die is eigenlijk stiekem groot fan van huis. En dan komen wij in één keer bij hem zetten. Ja. Nou, en dan is die day. So, I'll not spoil what happens in the clip, but it'll be linked below and it'll be the outro music for this video. So, definitely check it out on YouTube and check out the other songs by Shure Sa, which can be found both on YouTube and on Spotify. If you are interested in learning Frisian, there's no better place to start than Afuk itself, which obviously has a web shop, has a lot of information about the Frisian language and other information about how you can learn or support the language if you are interested in doing so, both from within um, uh, the English speaking world the German speaking world, the Dutch speaking world, and also for Frisian speakers who just want to improve or find out more in Frisian, that is also a possibility there. So everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, do check out Afuk, do check out Schur Esa, uh, Obaldus Draumar. Links will be provided in the description below. And basically, the takeaway message is that the ING should reconsider their policy. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to speak the language of the country you're in, in the bank. That's something very basic that should be catered for, even if they do have to pay a few more people. It's really a no-brainer decision. I've heard of a lot of Frisians who have said, we're not gonna bank there anymore because we can't speak Frisian. So actually, this is also losing the money. So financially, it also doesn't make too much sense. But anyway, whatever your mother language is, I hope you can be proud of it today. Um, I hope you can look at it and see it for what it is. A, a beautiful thing that we have a lot of different languages and I hope it long may remain so. Anyway, the last word I will give to the indomitable Beat Beat. So uh, Pete, what do you think about the ENG banning people from speaking Frisian? Yeah, it's, it's stupid, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm glad you agree. What's that? You're gonna shop at the Rabo Bank now? Yeah, I, th I think that's a sensible, sensible course of action. That's the only option for Frisians these days, you know.